What else could it be? Shalom, Aki and Wa'akwa. Before I get started, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakadash, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakadash. Double honors unto the apostles, the elders, bishops of the great millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth, enough respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopefully let. This is your brother Yawasap coming to you once again with another lesson. And what else could it be? By the process of elimination, uh, you're going to have to come up with answers on what else could Revelation 13 and 16 and verse 17 be speaking of. And as a matter of fact, the penalty for consenting and taking these things and receiving these things in the book of Revelation 14 chapter. What else could it be? And again, by the process of elimination, you can already cancel out sin or being wicked. You can cancel out embargo. You can cancel out any other thing than what you can bargain, pay, and buy with or sell with. Got this article queued up from Personal Finance, and this is February 6, 2023. All right. The hopeful year of the uh the year of the uh the, the hopeful year of the prophecies uh, of Yahweh by Shimon Shah coming to pass, man. Okay. And we we hope this is that year that they finna implement this thing thing, man. Again. New outlook on CBDC will appear soon from shakeup in crypto market, BIS, right? And CBDC goes into central bank digital currencies. Let's read just this, just this headline right here. Over 100 countries are planning to launch their digital currencies in 2023. The global developments happen as countries across the world have been witnessing a downfall in the use of physical cash. Once the physical cash be taken off the, the markets, whether it be by the way of the dollar crashing or whether it be as, as none of use, all right, it's obsolete, which cash will be obsolete. You're going to have to pitch, bargain, sell, or buy with what Revelation 16 tells you. Let's go to that by the matter of way, by the fact. Because with the, with the knowledge and wisdom that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has bestowed upon his servants, he already laid it down. You know, he he let us know what's up. Okay? And those of you that don't want to hearken until what's taking place, all right, you 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 pretty much uh, uh, uh headed for destruction, man. Revelation 13 and verse 16, let's go ahead and get it. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive <laughs> a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, again, just by studying to show thyself approved, all right, day in and day out in the scriptures, yeah, <laughs> we're going to get this word causeth. And it's in the strong G41, 60. And it says to make, all right, with names of things made of, <laughs> which they would have they, uh, you know, what's they call that? that, that they would have their brand on it, as, 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 you know, you would say. When you're branding somebody, okay, that means you, you're about to own them. To produce, construct, form, fashion. You see? So he's, he's preparing these things for you, and he has prepared them. He ran trial and error is a thing called gradualism, okay? And again, we can examine these words carefully, man. Causes, all right? To make ready, to prepare, to produce, bear, shoot, forth. And this is what he's doing, man. Is anything in the Strongs? Okay, yeah. To, yeah. All right, to a point, you know. 
So we got the point there. So he's going to cause, he's going to wet, he's going to make ready, he's going to form. All right. And how do you make things ready? You make things hard in the supermarket. You make things. Uh, uh, first, it was uh, emails. You know, uh, I don't know if you, you, you guys remember, you know, the brothers, the Akim out there. Uh, do you remember that, you know, back in the uh, mid to late 90s, early 2000s, they was, they was asking you to, hey, put in your email, put in your email. It was a gradualism thing, all right? And you got these emails, you know, for certain uh, uh, things, you know, you got your spams in there. You know, you sign up, you know, for certain things like a, uh, uh, like a Win Dixie card or a Kroger card or, 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 you know, these things like that. Now you got the smartphones and now they're just, they're, 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 they're pinging off of these. Man, the system is already set up. All they need to do is, is, is pull the string where uh, uh, this device is going to come into place, man. And this is their plots. This is their uh, uh, shrewd schemes that they have came up with. Let's get to Job. This is the book of Job 21. In verse 27, it says, Behold, I know your thoughts and the devices which ye wrongfully imagine against me. Let's go into that word device. All right? Because, again, you have these camps out here, all right, that are just swinging at the air. All right? They're not hitting anything. They're not hitting the points. They're not warning the flock of what's to come. Okay? Devices. Plot. Discretion. You see, it's as strong as H4209, all right? Uh, uh, purpose, you see? Let's go down to the strongest. Intent, witty inventions, you see? Lewdness, mischievous thoughts, wickedly. This is their devices, man, whether it be something they're writing up in their Congress house, you know, the Senate, <laughs> uh, the State of the Union, Union tonight. You know, shit like this. And this is just more and more uh, evidence on coming out on where we're headed as the article we brought up, man. They're getting rid of cash. So you can't buy and sell with sin. What is that thing you're going to buy with? That's the question you're going to ask yourself. What's the thing you're going to buy with? And if you take that thing, the Lord is going to fucking destroy you, man. Simple, said, and put, man. Let's go to Psalms. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 59, all right, in verse 4. It says, they run <laughs> and prepare themselves without my fault. Awake to help me, and behold, yeah, look, Lord, what they doing, okay? Whether, again, whether they're writing laws and legislations to continue to oppress us, to, to, uh, uh, to pretty much get away with murder, or in, even what they're doing now to trying to... Uh, uh, you know, implement this thing to oppress the whole world. Let's get a few words. What they do to prepare, they prepare. Let's get this word prepared. All right. <clears throat> this word prepare. Well, it, say, it says, uh, and prepare themselves. Let's strong as uh, H3559. Uh, uh, to uh, be firm, stable. To be established, I right, was not. They were stable and firm with the uh, with the guidelines of the of the uh, Crown Royal nineteen. You see there. Um, to be set up, you know, and this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to set up through the CDB CBDC. They're trying to set up this this uh, this B system. So what else could it be? You know, what else could it be, man, to be firmly established? So let's go back. 59, Psalms 59 and verse 4. It says, they run and prepare themselves without my fault. And why are they running, man? Why are they quickly in a hurry? Because of <laughs> Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. It says, therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Why are we rejoicing? Because we, are, we, we have been... We, we've been privy <laughs> to know the devil thoughts and what he's about to accomplish, man. What it just told us in what? Psalms 59, man. Uh, it's like it. Uh, that Job 21. 
where it says the Lord knows the intents of your hearts, man. You know? Uh, 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 it says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Okay, the servants of the Lord and the ones that follow the Lord. It says, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. Those that dwell in the world, those of you uh, investing in America, investing in crypto, investing in this B system, all right, you're going to be found sadly mistaken. All right? And he have great wrath. Why? Because he knoweth that he has but a short Time. Let's go back to that Psalms 59 and verse 4 and get that word run. Because they run and prepare themselves without my fault, man. I ain't, I ain't make you do this. <laughs> uh, Strong 8, 73, 23. Runners uh, run swiftly to dart, to bring or move quickly. Hurry. You see? Hurry. All right, so they're bringing this thing on hastily, man. Okay, let's get this little insert. Sea hips, the micro beast, were approved by the Food and Drug Administration in 2004. So this thing has been around. All right, you can bring out scriptures that say nothing's new under the sun. Woot, 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 wop, wop. Okay, but uh, you're not applying it in the right context. It doesn't make any sense. So what else could it be? All right. It says in 2004 for implementation in humans after being used for years in animals and pets. Consider the beast of the field and they shall tell you. <laughs> it says they can be used for things such as making purchases, opening doors and unlocking computers. According to Three Square Market, a company that offered free implants to its employees in 2019. You see that? See, we're getting more and more closer to things being revealed, and the things that are being revealed are, are, are which we already know, the plans of the devil, the prophecy, hey, the books are open. Seal not the sands of this book. So what's being revealed? Devil's being revealed. He, he, hey, people know what the devil, people know what the missiles are about. The sword is in the scriptures. All right? In certain contexts. So what else could this thing be in Revelation? Matter of fact, let's go back to it. 13. And let's get to verse 17. It says, and that no man might buy or sell. Let's read that again. And that no man might buy or sell. Again, if they're getting rid of cash, physical cash, okay, physical cash, that means it has to be digital. It has to be a certain device, all right, and we know where it's headed. So anything else that's being revealed is false prophets, man. The scripture tells us what, all right? <clears throat> It says that, that no man might buy, uh, no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, and the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Now we're going to go to verse eighteen, but let's get something real quick in the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon one and verse four, and it reads: For into a malicious soul. Wisdom shall not enter. Let's read this again. For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject to subject unto sin. Now, when you are subject unto sin, that means you can't get right, no matter how much. Okay? The only thing you can't repent from in the scripture is what? Taking that mark. This is why verse 18 is here. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding. This is why knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of our times, man. Isaiah 33, verse 6. So again, here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is a number of a man, and his number is six hundred. And three score six. 
You see that? So, if we could blow this up, there's there's something <laughs> there's something in that, and and that's what it looked like, man. Okay. Go into stigma. When you go into certain words, all right, you get the full understanding. You have to have the Spirit of the Lord dealing with you. You have to be taught by men. You have to be willing to be taught by men. Not be subject to sin, but be subject to being taught, learning the truth. What else could it be? By the process of elimination, we know it can't be sin. We know it's not embargo. We know it's not white women. What else could it be? Lord willingness was edifying and comfort. On to the next one. Shalom.